Hey folks, welcome to the Unihosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can change or set up a static IP for your Unify local controller. I'll show you how you can do it on Windows and also how you can do it on Ubuntu server. So let's get started. All right, so let's begin with Windows. And something that I want to show you that it will also apply to uh, Ubuntu server is the override inform host setting from the controller. Okay, now let's go into settings and then let's go to system and in the advanced tab we have the override inform host so with this the controller will tell all your unified devices that there is a, a new maybe it's the same one but it basically will override the inform host address that the unified device has configured okay so this will help you in case you need uh when you're doing this ip change and you need to move a ton of devices you have a lot of devices connected so you don't have to connect into each device with ssh to perform the layer to adoption or to set the inform um, ip again now let's click over here and we will have a warning Okay, so you can see here that please ensure that all adopted unified network devices can reach the configured host. Why? Because if you set up the wrong IP or the wrong host name, there will be issues. The unified devices will try to reach something that is not there. So please, please be very careful when you're using this option over here. Okay, now I will click confirm and you can see I have an IP over here. Uh, this is the IP that my um, Windows computer has right now. I'm going to change it to something else. So let's use 220 and i will apply the changes you need to do this before you change the ip on the um server in this case this windows computer okay so i will click over here apply changes and now i will close my controller uh, before i do that i want to show you something uh, right now it doesn't show anything here say um it says that everything is working but maybe you will see something different over here maybe you will see that the devices um, are showing like disconnected so no worries about that it's normal because you sent uh, or you overrided the info host to another address so let me close this i'm going to close the network server and now let's change the ip on windows so for that i'm going to open control panel and let's go to network and security i still prefer the control panel option instead of the new settings option for windows so after i'm in the network ensuring center i have the um adapter here for this virtual machine we need to go into properties and then we need to select the ip before protocol and then properties so right now this is the ip address that i have if you're using dhcp you might have something like this everything is grayed out and you just need to click use the following ip address over here and you will be able to fill the information that you want for your new um, ip address or the ip address that you want to set so right here let's use the one that i showed you before 220 my mask is this one and my gateway is this one from here okay i don't have any internal dns server so i'm just going to set up google and cloudflare now I will click OK, OK, and close. I'm using Beamware Workstation, so I'm not going to lose any connectivity. Let me open now CMD, and let's verify that the changes are applied. Now we can see that the IP before address is showing correctly, and the new one. So let me close everything here, and I will open the Unify Network Server again. Now, since we um, use that option to override the inform host, um, we don't need to connect with SSH and set the inform manually. But there are some times that you may have issues. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. If you go into the uh, Unify forum, you will see some issues with that option. And sometimes you need to connect locally uh, using SSH and you need to set the inform uh, IP or host name again. Um, so in case you need that just remember you need to do the layer 3 adoption which is basically connecting with ssh and setting the new inform uh, ip or hostname so you can see here server server ip is reflecting the new ip and if i go into unify devices now i can see that it's adopting and you just need to wait a little bit and it will show that it's connected on the controller if we go into settings system and we go to advanced the override option is enabled and it's with the new ip the ip that i set up for this new server now let's wait a little bit over here all right i'm back and now i can see that my access point is showing green online and everything is working now it took a few minutes so um i will say wait a little bit until you connect with ssh uh, and set the inform you should not need to do it but again um some people had issues with the change of the ip and maybe the inform setting not working correctly so in case you have any problems just go ahead and connect with ssh and set the inform um, ip manually with ssh um, so that's everything from for windows and now let's go into ubuntu server 
All right, so let's begin with the change of the IP address on Ubuntu server. I'm connected right here using the web GUI to my unified controller on the Ubuntu server. You can see that the current IP address is 240. All right, and I have an access point adopted into this controller. So let's go into the settings and also we will need to do the change on the inform override. So right now it's showing up 240 and I'm going to change this to 250. That's the new IP address. That I, will, that I will be using on this Ubuntu virtual machine. Okay, go over here. Now it's still showing green, the access point. And let's go into the Ubuntu CLI. Of course, you will need a few commands over here. I will uh, share them on the description of the video so you can uh, use them and modify what you need. Now, the first thing uh, that we are going to do is we are going to modify the netplan file. It's a JAML file. Let's authenticate. So a few things over here. Um, if you are using the HTTP, this file might not be created. If you are not using the HTTP, you may have already uh, the file. And you can see over here, this is the name of your inter interface name. So this is really, really important that you get the uh, interface name that you can uh, get with the command IP space A. Uh, here we have the IP address that we are, uh, that the server is using right now. And this is the gateway and the DNAs. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the current IP to 250. So now I'm going to press Ctrl and O to write the file and Ctrl and X to exit. There we go. Now we need to do one more thing, not just changing the uh, netplan file. What I'm going to do is first let's apply the settings. I have a few warnings over there. This is a very basic Ubuntu server, so I don't need to worry about those warnings. But in case you have any warning, please check uh, what do you have over there. I directly apply the changes to the netplan configuration, but you can also test them if you want with netplan try, sudo netplan try. This will um, apply the changes for a few seconds. And if you want to accept, you just need to press enter. There we go. Okay. Now, after I change that configuration, let's see. And you can see um, on the interface that I have here, the IP address is the new one, 250. Wonderful. Now, we need to change one more thing, and that will be changing the system properties file or the unified controller. This is something that I found that is different from Windows. You don't have to do it on Windows, uh, or at least I didn't have to do it with Windows, but with Ubuntu server, you will need to do it. Now, the system property uh, file, it's a very, very um, important file. So before um, I do the changes on that file, uh, I'll create a backup. Okay, so I will use this command over here to create a backup of the file and now let me see if the file the backup file is over there and amazing yep i have a few uh, files over there and one is the one that i just created perfect now let's open with nano that file and we have a lot of options over here this file is also used for the ports of the Unify server and a few other things. It's a very important file, so be very careful when you are working on this one. Um, the line that I need to change is this one, system um, IP. And you can see it's the old IP. Now, very uh, important. Maybe you don't have this on the file, so you just need to add it manually at the end of the file. I didn't have it, so I just added it. And now let's change the IP. Let's write the file and let's exit this. All right, we changed the IP address on NetPlan and also on the system properties file. Now it's time to restart the Unify service. Now let's restart. I need to wait just a few seconds until the service is restarted. And I will jump into my Windows VM computer again to use the GUI and access the new IP. There we go. Perfect. Now let me go over here. So this is incorrect. Let's change to 250, the new IP address of the controller. Now we'll log in with my credentials. Perfect. Now I can see over here, the server IP is showing with the right one. If you don't change the system properties file, it's not going to uh, change the IP address that is showing up here. So very important that you do that change as well. So let's go to Unify Devices. Now um, I'm going to pause the video because just like happened with the Windows uh, change, um, you need to wait a little bit until the access point is able to reach out again the uh, new IP of the controller. So let me just pause the video and I'll be back once the change is applied. All right, and I'm back with my controller and you can see that the access point is showing online. Just had to wait um, around three minutes and it's showing online and working. OK, so that's it for the IP change on the Ubuntu server. All right, people, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can click the thumbs up or like button and also subscribe and turn on the notifications for all the upcoming videos that we will be uploading in the Unihosted YouTube channel. My name is Fernando. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next YouTube video for Unihosted. 
Bye-bye.